Today, I'll be talking about the vector triple product, which is an important identity when it comes to vector multiplication. And in particular, what I want to do in this video is focus in on the intuition behind the formula for the vector triple product. Now, the vector triple product concerns three vectors and the cross product between these three vectors. So, let's say we have three vectors, A, B, and C. And the way I denote vectors is by underlining them, alright? This is just a convention. And so we have the cross product between these three vectors. However, it's important to note that when you compute a cross product, the order of the vectors matter, which means that I need to put a parenthesis for whichever cross product I do first. All right. Indeed, the cross product is non-associative, which means that if, so for example, we have a formula here, and this is different from computing A cross B first, and then uh, doing the cross product of that vector cross C. All right. So this is, I wanted to specify this point because it's important. So what the vector triple product tells us is that uh, this formula right here, this expression right here, is actually equal to the dot product A dot C multiplied by vector B minus A dot b multiplied by vector c. Now I want to touch on the fact that the dot product always spits out a scalar. All right, So that's why we also call the dot product the scalar product. So a dot c gives us scalar, let's call it uh, lambda 1. And a dot b gives us another scalar which we call lambda 2. And what we realize is that uh, the vector triple product gives us a linear combination of vector B and C. Now, why does this expression make sense intuitively? Well, here I've drawn uh, the two vectors B and C. All right? And if we compute the cross product, what we get is a vector that is pointing upwards and it's also perpendicular to b and to vector b and c and that's what's important to remember okay so um, if we draw out vector c we get a vector that is directly perpendicular right and so this is vector uh, let's call it b cross c So what's important to note is that it's directly perpendicular to both C and B. Now, in our vector triple product, what we do is that we take the cross product of A with B and C, with B cross C. Okay, so let's say that vector A is over, is over here. This is the key moment I want you to remember from this video, okay? We have vector A, and we want to do the cross product. Um, A cross B cross C, okay? Which means that the vector resulting from the vector triple product will be a vector that is directly perpendicular to this vector right here, B cross C. Which means that the only vectors that are possible from this triple product are the vectors that lie on the plane spanned by B and C. All right, this, this plane right here. And why is that? Because both B and C are perpendicular to the vector B cross C, right? This is by definition uh, the cross product. Now, what does this actually mean? It means that our result will be a vector that lies in the plane uh, spanned by vectors B and C. And therefore, this vector 
can actually be written as a linear combination of vectors b and c. And what is a linear combination? It, this basically means that our vector, let's call it vector d for example, our vector d can be written out as a linear combination of, uh, let's call the scalars little, uh, lowercase a and lowercase b, can be written out as a linear combination of b and c. But this expression is very similar to the one we have over here, because we have scalars that multiply uh, vectors b and c. And this is why uh, the, the formula for the vector triple product is actually given in this way. Because remember, the dot product gives us a scalar. Okay, And so basically what the formula for the vector triple product tells us is that we obtain, after doing a, a triple cross product basically, we obtain uh, a vector that, is, that can be written out as a linear combination of vectors b and c. And this is what I want you to remember from this video. This is how you can easily remember the formula for the vector triple product. To finish this video, I want to emphasize on this point. When you're in an exam and you forget the formula for the vector triple product, what you need to remember is that uh, the, the result will always be a linear combination of the vectors that are in parentheses, all right? So the vectors that you first do the cross product, okay? And these vectors are multiplied by this dot product between the two remaining vectors, okay? So here we have vector b, and therefore the dot product associated with that vector are the two remaining vectors a and c. And so this is our first vector, and we subtract it from the the other vector c all right so this is the middle vector and this is the last vector so we subtract uh, so we tr subtract uh, from the middle vector the final vector c and vector c of course is multiplied by the dot product of once again the remaining vectors a and b thank you for watching this video uh, hope you liked it hope you learned a lot from it and uh, comment down below if you have any questions, of course. Thank you.